What does Steve like? Does, does Steve get like rushed down really easily? Because I feel like his character is like more of a setup type deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, what, speaking of Yanni, one of the things that he was talking about Twitter the other week is that um, folks don't actually pressure Steve, especially at the start of match, uh, well enough, especially when Steve gets like the three block setup, because you can basically knock out the bottom block and threaten to rush in. But right now, yeah. it looks like 17 is managing to successfully get in here to start things off here in game one. Yeah, and this is going to be like a big part of the game plan, right? You want to just smother Steve so that way he doesn't gain resources to start doing the goofy stuff, which is... You know, getting flattered for 62%. And if I'm if I'm 17, I'm just like, yeah, let's go ahead and get up out of here. Now, actually, now that, now that uh, you know, 17 used it, that reflect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Nairu's love is actually going to come into play in this matchup. And you saw how the Phantom Knight went through the mind card. That might help a lot, too. Yeah, Zelda definitely has the hitboxes and the interesting interactions with mind card to help deal with it but all you know wi-fi steve needs is that opportunity to bust it when you're just not able, able to react in time so far though 17's kept himself clean from dealing from you know that particular interaction so okay, Whoa. See, yeah you saw uh we're gonna see 17 uh use the fp right to get out of trouble you know what i'm saying oh and he got carried oh right back to right back to the coast with his own mind card that's what's up man so yeah. actually you know uh, uh falling 17 kind of neck and neck right now you know what i'm saying yeah. Not looking too, too bad for him. Oh my god. What a really well timed roll there by Fallen just being able to just nail 17 and a bit of end lag there if you have Smash take the first stock. That looked like it hurt. Oh, now you're going to get lag yep. again. Yep. Oh, see? And what's going to be good about this matchup? Nope. Okay. You got to punish them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and there is the big punish there for 17 right now. Oh, Fallen just missing the scoop hitbox on up smash. Did you know that it scoops on both sides? You have to be really careful about when you're approaching Steve and he has the opportunity to go for that. And you see Steve with that blue pickaxe. I mean, he got diamonds, so this is where it gets really, really dangerous. I do, And when you get hit with that bear, you don't know if it's going to spike. You don't know if it's going to be just an amazing knockback. But either way, it's going to hurt. Oh, oh my god, yeah. that almost converted. Yeah, Fallen had that space, and if 17 didn't DI well enough, he would have been dead. But there we go, 17 getting the sweet spot. Back here looking for the setup, the F smash, just barely whiffing it right there. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and challenge the Phantom Knight here. Throwing a hitbox behind it, very smart by 17. 17 just trying to keep uh, their distance, making sure that, you know, they don't really try, try to overcommit on anything, because then stuff like Minecart happens and you get carried. And like something that uh, 17 has been kind of like, well, not 17, but Fallen's been getting away with is just his resources, right? Yeah, he's been able to mine. He's been able to mine endlessly. Oh, there was the minecart. 17 was in the mix of building the Phantom, and Fallen snuck the minecart right in there. All right, good air dodge, uh, trying to avoid the fair on that one. And the Phantom Knight coming into play once again. This is, the Phantom Knight really worked really well for uh, for 17 right now, edge guarding him. So there close there, trying to get the, the Din's Fire, the combination of Phantom and Din's Fire finally coming through there for 17. Now we have last stock situation for both players. It's a really well fought match so far. Yep, neck and neck between both of them. And uh, one thing that 17 has actually done really well, well, as I say that, actually, hey, I'll say it now. Like, uh -oh, it's done here we a, go. a really good job of trying not to get laddered. And oh, you didn't just deny. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, that, the, that'll that'll the, the TNT's there. Oh my god, 17 just barely escaped the TNT. Did not able to escape the minecart, but not either of the two pickaxes fallen with the frame trap after frame trap after frame trap attempt finally closing it out there to take game one. I'm, I'm looking at that and uh yeah, I got my ankles broken. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> like I, I I looked at that whole sequence. I'm like, dog man, like I don't know if I should shield. Like the crazy thing about Steve is uh just Steve has so many like uh uh what is that options on ledge right yeah. so it's just like it's just so like dangerous like uh, like how to approach it but where uh falling was uh where excuse me where 17 was most successful was that 17 was able to just circumvent uh steve coming back to stage so he's with that phantom knight so hopefully we'll see it again he's definitely good they're definitely gonna need it so that way they can you know find their way back in this game but fallen uh game one victory yeah i mean 17 played most of that set so well and all that, that sometimes it shows the margin of error in this game where basically fallen got one really well executed frame trap and that was it <laughs> but we uh decided to uh, run it right back here to battlefield Ooh, nice late uh uh 
neutral be there from uh, 17 to send the minecart back. Yeah, uh, 17 has a couple of very good combo breakers, right? So it's going to be that neutral B, that Nehru's love, and then... Uh, the teleport uh, B. Yeah, the, the, the out of shield up B, that's uh, really, really good. So if you find, if uh, they find, if 17 finds that uh, they're getting pressured a little bit too much, then do a little uh, get out of jail free cards. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can see 17 had had the ledge trap set up there just again, short with the F smash, just like in game one as well. We'll see if Fallen can escape here. Who barely avoids the Dim's fire as well. Say uh, that Phantom Knight been working uh, overtime right now. Yeah. But Fallen's, time time. Really, Fallen's playing this really in a way where it seems like he's very comfortable at ledge in the corner. So. Okay, destroys the Phantom Knight, so... Oh, I was gonna say, uh... I did not last as long as I thought it would. <laughs> I, I know, I thought it was gonna be a, just at least, like, you know, like a couple oh. of seconds, but... See, Love and Fallen messed up with the resources, put in the block, and then he got caught between uh, that block and that uh, that forward smash by 17. Yeah. 17, well done. Oh! Slight misinput there, cost him Fallen, but Fallen firing right back right now, trying to get the um, connecting blow up to the up tilt. Does it the back air, that would work. That Don't Iron Axe is putting in some work, wouldn't you say, Banjo? Oh, well, 100%. Like, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> I was the gonna say something react, well. man. Just detonating that on a ledge, and it's just like it's just one of these things where where do you go? Like, well, how do I how do you escape from the the, the pressure like this? And this Iron Axe was putting it work, and oh, I I would have hated to see what type of shenanigans would have uh, ensued if that combo continued. Yeah, Fallen right now is trying to push with the Golden Axe, which uh, if you didn't know is actually the only um, resource item that Steve has that actually has different frame data from the other ones. It's fast. Wow, really? really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh trying to that... get this fight get box, but didn't get it. 17's on the back foot right now, but oh. Oh, finally connected with the snipe. Wow. And that whole sequence was just like he got caught behind the knight and still got that in, still got that knight off. And once again, the ledge has been very, very bad for uh, for Fallen as of late. And going to be able to get the up smash here. So here we go. One stop just of peace. A... That's an unfortunate landing for 17, just right there on top. You really don't want to be landing on top of Steve unless you already have like a disc joint out. Oh my gosh, 17 just doing a really, really good job of making sure that they just air dodge away from like what the combo that could have been after the down throw. Very, very nice. All the options being covered here by Fallen. Fallen just gaining resources. Like, hey, if you want to be over here, but now I have uh, the diamond and uh, our diamonds forever. Now I'm oh, in your face. No. I mean, look how confident Fallen is in the in the face of all these, you know, just ranged options from 17. He's not phased at all. But here comes 17. Ooh. That knight connected. That might have been the start of the end here for Fallen. But Fallen, not afraid. Oh. Any any more teleports, uh, you're going to need a, a, a wind company, bro. You're going to need some energy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Another fair. And oh. getting hit by the teleport once again. Stage control. Oh, oh the knight's in it. Nope. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Oh, oh, he air dodged the, the, the dense fire. Fallen. Get back on stage. 17, how's your defense? Gonna be able to get back on stage with my oh card. My the God. diamond pickaxe fair. You have to feel for 17. He's trying so badly to put this away and try to get into a game three. Can he do it right now? Fallen, still hanging on. Oh, Takes another night hitbox. Just up bees in the middle of the stage. What's the move here? Do you oh, see? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> And 17 was at that was actually slick because like 17 was like, all right, if you shield this, a grab is on the way. Like you're gonna get grabbed guaranteed. So yeah. Oh my god. Very, very well done. Uh 17 staying in the set. One one between these guys. And uh man, neck and neck. Fallen doing some risky stuff, like up being in the middle of the stage and just like trying to like ignore Knight completely. Like I'm just like, oh like I wasn't keeping track of like what his resource count was, so I was wondering if that was like that had something to do with it too. Like he was maybe trying to like either extend some things. Like I don't want to like you know drop an anvil here if I don't have to or something to that effect. But um, yeah, it, I mean it did seem like both players were getting a little desperate there. But what a what a closeout by seventeen. Like when the, when the opportunity mattered the most, he had it. So. Or the, Damn, this, this is what I like to see. I like to see, like, uh, some... I was talking earlier about how this would be, you know, nice and fair and wholesome. And for the most part, it is right now, even though it's online. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's, 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 it's really, really uh, close competition between 
these two right now. And uh, that's what we like to see here at MSM Online. But we're going into a game three stage counter pick on the way. I don't see either of them switching characters, which they will not. So here we go. A game of three between Fallen and 17. Let's get it. Yeah. You know, Banjo, something that I noticed about Fallen's particular style Steve gameplay that I think is really noteworthy is that unlike some of the other high quality Steves or uh, other Steve players of note who tend to either just kind of rely on the wooden materials or go fish for diamond, he's more than capable of like whipping out all the different kinds of materials and getting different kinds of uh, responses. And right now, look at, oh! No, oh. look at the anvil! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, 17 saved himself right there with that quick way to move, jeez. And this night, this is pain giving us freaking overtime for Zelda right now. <laughs> Keeping him at a safe distance, allowing Zelda to just spam these hitboxes and get these moves out. That way he can keep Steve at bay. Oh, um, oh my God. He said, hold this. I got you. That Hold's was incredible. Like 17, man. That was incredible. That was some schoolyard bully type stuff. Hold him down, Zelda. The Fallen hasn't Zelda been, um, hasn't experienced a really serious disadvantage so far this set. So see how he's able to deal with the adversity right now. Look at that night placement timing, too. Able to save 17 from the cart. Not that cart, though. Okay, so the, uh, um, gonna die off that? Yeah, Steve. And uh, that TNT off of these kind of like, uh, not reckless upbees, but these upbees that are just like, you know, kind of panicked in a way. Like, yeah. uh, like oh man, I gotta get back on stage. And then that placement of the TNT. So yeah, a couple more edge guard techniques like that. And the Nairus love, love, bro. You just come to the play. It's like, bro, enough of the mine card. There aren't, there aren't even traps here. How are you doing this? Phantom Knight, put in work. Once oh, again, man. the side beat. 17's doing a much better job of harassing Fall in this game than he was doing in game one or game two right now. That's how I feel so far. Oh, a big swing from Fall in those, got 17 reeling. Yeah, I'm looking at Fall in, and Fall in's, uh, they're doing a really good job of just trying to like mix up the combo timing. That way, they, uh, that way if they happen to find a straight air dodge, they can answer back immediately with an appropriate punish. But in a side B, it's gonna send 17 coast to coast and what's the edge guard move? The TNT I, once again! Again! Oh! <laughs> the blow-ups are in full effect right now at MSN. Man. Oh, no. Fallen just firing right back after that early confirm from 17. Now 17's on the last winter side stock. Hey, oh, very nice air dodge, but can you get back? No! Oh, he couldn't Fallen get back! Deep. Here we go. Way, way closer than Fallen would have liked, but one stock apiece. Look at these blocks set up, giving Fallen ample time to get when he wants, resource-wise. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, at this point, you know, Fallen must be like, uh, well, I'm just trying to get Diamond Pickaxe with an this big time. At yeah, 49, like, before that, you'd argue that 17 is one big setup away from losing the stock, so you gotta play very carefully right now. Oh, right. big. You wanted to end it right there, and, and, and at that percentage with Diamond Pickaxe, it might have, oh my goodness. Broke the, the night, card. too, with the minecart. My cart's putting in a lot of work right now in this game, too. Fallen's been using it expertly. Oh, interesting delayed cart setup. Oh! The I whiff punish. Very, very, very <laughs> nice roll. My eyes keep looking in the wrong direction whenever the knight gets popped out. That was a really good uh, evasive. When, uh, I'm sorry, when, when, when Fallen was in that cart, did they, like, <laughs> did, did they mine as they were in the cart? Oh no, not again! What? Whoa! Oh, are you serious? Seventeen was able to get the up air through the TNT, and I think the TNT 